Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am so excited to be back on Facebook Live. I really missed you guys last weekend. Um, for some of you that may be new and didn't know, I was on vacation. I am sporting a nice tan, I might add. <laughs> Hi Bonnie. Hi Sarah. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the sun is probably going to kill me, but I figure you got to go somehow, right? <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Sarah says, welcome back. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we had an amazing trip. It was so much fun. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kathy, Karen. Everybody's popping in here. Lisa. Yeah, I um, thank you, Lisa. I, Steve and I had a great time. So for those of you that may be new or don't know, we went on a cruise last week and we headed out of Appleton where it's freezing cold, Wisconsin, and we went to Galveston, Texas and jumped on a ship with Carnival Cruise Lines and headed to Cozumel, Mexico, um, Belize, City Belize, which we didn't really go to any city, we were on an island and uh, Roatan, Honduras. And it was beautiful. The weather leaving Galveston was a little bit cool, cooler than I would have liked because you guys know I love hot weather. But by our second day, it really started warming up and then we were by the pool and that was fantastic. We stopped at Cozumel and we just did a beach day. And that was really fun and relaxing. And so the first night we get on the ship, or the first day, we got on the ship fairly early. We were in bed by 6 o'clock. Like, we were out like a light. But we had to get up around 3 o'clock in the morning to catch our flight. So it's understandable that we would be tired. But from 6 p.m. until 8 the next morning, I slept. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and we had a lot of nights where we were back in our cabin by 8 p.m. and snoozing. So I got a lot of sleep. I am back. I am refreshed and rested and um, it was really cool. We got back at about 10 o'clock last night into Appleton and um, I was up, I don't know, till about 1.30 making videos. I have a new online class coming out this week using the Painted Poppies suite. And so I was up making videos for that and getting cards done for it. And I just got home. Oh, one thing I was really proud of is that I took my suitcase upstairs immediately and unpacked it. And that never, ever happens. Like usually my suitcase is laying in the living room for a week to two weeks after I go someplace. <laughs> Just because it's not a priority for me to get it unpacked, but I, I got my suitcase unpacked immediately and got everything put in its place and I have a whole pile of dirty laundry. I usually let Steve do his laundry first because he's kind of weird about it. He um he's he's always washing clothes, just always. He the man wears a lot of clothes. So I'm letting him do his laundry. My pile is waiting for me. It's not gonna go any place. Um but yeah, so hit the ground running, started right back. And I thought today as I was creating new cards to show you, um, I thought, how lucky am I? How blessed am I that I got to come home and rather than the dread of going to a job that isn't my ideal job, I got to dive right in and start creating cards like an hour after I got home and doing something that I really, really love. And so yeah, I was thinking about that today. I thought, how blessed am I that I get to do that? It's pretty cool. And I'm also equally as blessed to have all of you following me because that, you know, makes my business. And I just really want you to know how much I appreciate you. So thank you for all the welcome homes, you guys. It's, um, I'd like to say that it's good to be home, but I could have easily stayed on that cruise ship for another week, like totally serious. And Steve and I, halfway through the cruise, we were already talking about where and when we were going again. So I don't know, around the 1st of March came into mind. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But um, if you can go on a cruise at the last minute, like we did, like we booked it two weeks ahead of time, if you can do that, you can get some amazing deals. And our 
um, flight out right out of our tiny airport in Appleton is usually pretty expensive, but we got reasonable rates there too. So it was pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, we went beach day when we got into Cozumel and then the next day we were in, um, Belize and we went snorkeling in Belize. That was really cool. We got to see a stingray and the um, snorkeling guide was diving down and picking up the big shells and he'd bring them up and there'd be crabs in them and, and um, conks, those slimy, snaily looking things. And, and we got to see lots of pretty fish and some just some really, really nice snorkeling there. So that was super fun. Hi, Bev. Bev is my health coach that helped me lose weight. So let me give you guys a little report. I shouldn't have stepped on the scale this morning because um, anytime I go out to eat, my body retains water. Like my fingers get really um, puffy and I get puffy in general. But I can say that I'm up about five pounds maybe. And I'm thinking in a couple days that'll go back almost down to nothing. So I did really good on the cruise. But I have to say that I always ate the dessert. <laughs> always. You always eat the dessert. And they had lots of like cakes with warm vanilla sauce. Ooh, one of my favorites. The one thing I was disappointed about, I didn't have any creme brulee. And that is my favorite. So I'll have to go on another cruise so I can get some of that. But Carnival was wonderful. The ship was wonderful. We met some very nice, interesting people. That's always fun. There was a lot of sick people on our ship. Like there was one family that had 34 people on board and 19 of them were in their room sick. Um, somebody on the ninth floor was quarantined with confirmed flu. So the hamburgers, Cynthia says, weren't the hamburgers fabulous? Guy's Burger Joint or whatever it was called. The hamburgers were amazing and the french fries were equally as, del uh, equally as delicious. They um, cut them with the skins on them and I think they fry them in peanut oil, which is the best. That's just the best. Um, but the hamburgers were just fantastic. They had all kinds of um, extras to put on them like sauteed mushrooms and caramelized onions and what else was there? There was one more thing that was, oh, bacon, real bacon crumbled up that you can put on your burger. And if you got the right one, you got a big onion ring on it. <laughs> so I had that. <laughs> it was delightful. The other thing that I really, really love is lobster. And we, I don't know if Carnival ser served lobster as one of their dining room meals. We only went to that dining room once because when I'm on vacation, it's hard enough to get to my excursion because I don't like being scheduled. And when you do the dining room, you have to go to dinner at six or you have to go to dinner at eight. And that's just not what I'm there for. But we did go to the formal dining room one night and everything was good except our main courses. Steve's steak was really tough. And my lobster, which we ordered off the pay menu because I wanted lobster and he wanted the New York Strip. My lobster was very overcooked and mushy. So I was kind of sad, but everything else was delicious and our waiter was just hysterical. So thanks, Sharon says she's so glad that um, we weren't sick. And no, we weren't. So we were very fortunate. Plus my Anna, my stepdaughter Anna, her and her husband had the flu the week before we left and they were both down and out for like almost a whole week. So we were really fortunate that we didn't catch that. So yeah. Uh, hi, Jody. Jody stopped over today and did a little bit of work for me. I so appreciate that, Jody. And um, she's in town from Indiana. She's one of my team members and she forgot her paper cutter and her big shot. So she came over to do some paper cutting and some big shotting. And um, I'm hoping she can stop by again this week while she's in town. Um, Helping, I think she's house sitting for her sister while she's away and taking care of her dad. So, yay! Hi, Suzette. Hi, Diane. So, what's happening this week? Well, I thought I would share with you um, my souvenirs that I brought home from my trip. Now, I have learned over the years that I don't buy much on these trips because while it seems like a great idea when you're on the island and you want the funny island pants or the the florally island pants that once you actually get them home they're pretty impractical especially here in Wisconsin where we got pounded with feet of snow today no I don't know if we got feet of snow but it is literally has been snowing all day long Steve just shut off shut off the snowblower so we came home to a big old dump of snow 
But um, so I don't buy a lot when I go on these vacations. But one thing that I do like to get because it's useful to me are spoon rests. So I got a spoon rest in Belize. And I love to have these because you guys know that we host a lot of parties. We have Sunday fun day every Sunday in the summer. And we usually have crock pots going or bowls. And I love the spoon rests. And so this is one of the things that I like to buy when I go on trips is the spoon rest. So that's the one that I got. And I thought it was just really pretty. And it will go nicely with my collection from all the other places, right? And then I saw this magnet. You better believe it. And of course I had to have it because it's kind of funny, right? So I got myself a new magnet. I put those on my filing cabinet over here and they help remind me of my trips. I like to look at them. And then the coolest thing, this is the last thing I bought, but the coolest thing I got was this thing. And it says, live in the dream, Roatan Honduras. And it is a bottle opener. And for those of you that know, <clears throat> this last summer I bought a what would you call it? It's like a pavilion. Um, we got it at Costco and we're going to, uh, you, you build it yourself, but it's all the pieces to build it. And it's a really nice wooden pavilion. And we're gonna put that right out next to my office here by the pool so that we can have our own tiki bar. And Steve's gonna build a bar in the back side of it and we'll have a roof. And um, this is gonna go in there. And I thought, how fun is this to have a beer bottle opener behind the um, tiki bar, right? Yeah, so I was thinking, I got some really good, useful gifts, I guess is a good way to put it. And um, what else did I get? Uh, that's about it. <laughs> that's all I bought. I didn't buy any t-shirts because usually when I get them home, they shrink and then I don't wear them. Or if I buy them bigger so that when I bring them home and they shrink, I don't wear them because they're too big. I don't know. So. I don't buy much when I'm on vacations. I choose instead to spend my money on like excursions, experiences. I love the experiences that we do. So we went snorkeling in Belize and then we went to Roatan, Honduras and we went and did a beach day there and that was really fun. And um, Steve said he'd like to kind of check out going back to um, Roatan and staying there for a week like just vacationing there. And I don't know that there's really much to do there, but we like to just sit on the beach and watch people. <laughs> so might be, um, I can do well on a ship or on a beach. Just saying. So no earrings. Did I, are you saying I should have bought earrings, Char? I didn't buy any earrings. No, I didn't buy anything. They had jewelry stores there, but they're all the ship's jewelry stores. Like, you know that Carnival builds the port and all the stores. And so, I don't know, it just doesn't interest me much to shop there. And we didn't really go anyplace else. So I didn't get any jewelry at all. Usually I get a ring when I go on a trip, but instead I got a bottle opener. <laughs> yeah, and kind of funny story, Steve has some um, sandals and in the bottom of his sandals is a bottle opener. How useful is that, right? He used it multiple times on our trip. <laughs> so yeah, kind of funny. All right, um, I have just a few updates. My newest online, well, first of all, let's back up a little bit. On Friday, you guys may have seen on my blog, my newest kit class for February uses the Birthday Bonanza suite of products. And that is open to order from until Friday. And then I'll be placing the order, getting all the products here, cutting up all the cards. So with that, you get, um, hang on, half a pack of the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper, cut to six by six. I have to do that so I can mail it. A full roll of tear and tape, a full roll of ruched, the Daffodil Delight ruched ribbon, and an entire pack of acetate card boxes. Plus, you are gonna get 20 extra card ideas and a bonus video tutorial for a cute little gift holder using the suite of products. So that's another bonus. This kit includes eight cards, four different designs. You get to make two of each. You're gonna have 20 more ideas because I have 20 more cards that I shared using this suite. 
And if you add, now that's $45. If you add on the stamp set and the dies for an additional $45, you're going to get the um, metallic twine and sequin combo pack that is free during celebration. So yay! Uh, Terry, yes, you did order the kit class. Thank you so much. These kit classes are really fun for me. I've really been enjoying them. Um, I'm not sure what our kit class is going to be for next month. I need to talk to Ashley about that. We need to figure out a plan for the next several months so I can keep you guys updated. So if you would like to see all the details for that kit class, you can go to my blog, www.astampabove.com. In the right-hand column is an online, no, 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 um, online classes button. Yes. And um, you'll find all the details for all my online classes. I have a ton of them there. So go check that out. You might have the suite already. Mom, mom saying hi, honey. Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm happy to see you on here tonight. Ingrid ordered it too. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, then this week I have the Painted Poppies online class coming out. And that is available in three different ways. You can order the online class for $20. It includes eight cards plus a bonus card. They each have their own video tutorials. Um, you can get it, the second option is to get it with a pre-cut cardstock pack for all nine cards. And that is $35 or you get the class free when you order the bundle of products from me and they're all listed there. You can order them there yourself or you can fill out the form and I will order them for you. That is $106. You get the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus plus the online class for free. It is the best um, deal. And then you guys know that last month I had the Peaceful Moments was our online class. I don't have any pre-cut cardstock packs left from that because they went super fast. But I do still have the online class available. Ginny says your classes are awesome. Thank you so much, Ginny. I really appreciate that. Um, the Painted Poppies bundle class is going to be available on Friday. And you're going to need to register by the 21st of February to get in on the pre-cut cardstock pack. And then I'll be mailing those out around the 28th of February, just so you kind of have a little timeline there. And I do have cardstock packs left. I have two left for the Christmas time is here. So if you ordered that bundle of products, you, um, you might want to get the pre-cut cardstock pack and online class for that. And you'll have to email me and then I'll send you an invoice. And I have one Snowfront card pack left. So if you have the Snowfront stamp set, you may want to consider getting that. The class is fabulous. And again, email me, kelly at estampabove.com, and I will um, send you an invoice. And somebody just said there's so much to do in Roatan. Well, that's good to know because Steve really liked it there. Okay. Just wanted to let you know, if you ever have trouble putting in the host code, just go ahead and order without it. I can always make things happen after the fact. I don't want you to be stopped by that because I know it can be frustrating. Sometimes we have some internet glitches that don't allow you to put that in there. So, um, Tracy just came to Wisconsin from Florida. Yeah, we got a lot of snow today, Tracy. It's pretty crazy. Okay, then... Um, da, 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 da. If you happen to be on my team as a discount shopper, I have a special ordering link for you to get the pre-cut cardstock packs. Now with my kit class, there's no other way to get it. There's no, you can't just order the PDF or get the pre-cut cardstock unless you're a team member. You get all my online classes for free and then you have the option to order the pre-cut cardstock pack at a special price as a team member. So. If you're thinking at all about becoming a discount shopper, let me tell you, don't forget, when you order the starter kit between now and the end of March, you're going to get this mini trimmer, which is fabulous. You're going to get a sampler pack of our designer series paper, and this has almost all the papers in it from Celebration and the Occasions Mini Catalog, plus you get to choose any stamp set of your choice. With your $99 kit, you get to order $125 in any product that you want. There's nothing predetermined in there. You will get a business pack of catalogs with your kit and some order forms. Um, 
And if you don't want to use them, don't use them. It's fine, but it is standard and it does come with the kit. So if you're interested in joining my team, I would love to have you. You get a 20% discount on all future orders. So yay. Debbie says, Kelly's team is the best. Thank you so much, Debbie. You're so sweet. It is pretty fun being on my team and you get all my online classes for free. So for a lot of you that are ordering all my online classes, it would be pretty beneficial to join my team. And um, there's a lot more benefits that go with that. Okay, please make sure you're sharing this video. You can push that share button right now. That really helps me out. If you're watching later on YouTube, um, please share my video on YouTube. Click on that bell. Give me a thumbs up. You can give me a thumbs up for a like right now. I really appreciate that. All of those things work into the algorithms that help me out as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and running my business online. So I always appreciate you guys clicking on all the clicks, okay? All right, um, let's see. Oh, one other thing. While we were on the ship, I met Cheryl, and I think Cheryl's last name is McClure. Cheryl, if you could please private message me. I tried to find you on Facebook, but I don't know that I got you. Cheryl is from, I think, Colorado, and she said that her and her um, stampers watch me every Sunday and it was cute because I had my Stampin' Up! bag out on my chair and she came over and said are you Kelly Atchison and I'm like oh my gosh yes I am <laughs> so it was really cute and I took a picture with her I'm maybe if I remember I'll post it on my Facebook page um, when we're done tonight but it was it was so sweet and it was so nice to meet her and then my husband ran into her a couple more times but I could never find her after that because you know um yeah. <laughs> okay, so somebody just asked if there is any way to get the mini paper cutter if you're already a discount shopper. And no, there isn't. Um, as a discount shopper, you had the option to pre-order that in December. And for my team members, I send out a newsletter every Wednesday that's keeping you apprised of everything and all the benefits. And in that newsletter is a video. And it talks, Barb, Dina, or I, my two friends and I collaborate together and we do a video every Wednesday that tells you all the weekly updates that Stampin' Up! has. And you should be watching those videos. Now, if you're not on my team, you can't watch them because they're private. But all my team members should be watching those videos so that you know about all these things. Like we talked about the mini paper cutter and how to order it and how to get the pack of cardstock every single week in those videos. We mentioned it several times. So you need to be keeping apprised, keeping yourself apprised of all the um, different announcements that Stampin' Up! has. Um, Tracy says she would love to join with me, but she's already with someone else. And I'm sure you're in good hands too. So thanks, Tracy. That's really sweet. All right. I have, okay, so I have to tell you guys, like I hit the ground running last night. I had a lot of work to do when I got home, but I did not have time to open my mail, and I have a whole box of mail in the kitchen. Um, Jared, my son-in-law, who is a mailman, he came over to take care of the cats while we were gone and brought our mail in and put it in a box in the kitchen. So I didn't have time to open that yet because I was trying to create some fabulous cards for you. But before I left, I got this gorgeous card from Sharon Jones. Sharon is one of my discount shoppers, and I just thought this was so beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So Sharon, thank you so much. I always love getting your cards. I'm gonna put this right back here. Are you guys ready for Valentine's Day? Are you ready for Valentine's Day? So I'm kind of proud of myself because before I left, I already bought Steve a Valentine's gift and it's nothing big and fancy, um, but I hope he's not watching. Is he watching you guys? Have you seen him pop in here? I don't think he will be because he was snow blowing. I don't hear it anymore though, but um, I got him some Valentine colored M&Ms and a little heart balloon and a little mailbox to put him in. So that'll be really cute. Don't tell him, shh, don't tell him. <laughs> but yeah, I was kind of proud of, proud of myself because I'm usually not on the ball like that. You may know this about me. <laughs> All right, and then I have to share this cute little guy. This is, um, you know, my my logo or my branding on my blog has a, an owl. And one of my team members and friends, Lisa Clotes, bought this little owl for me. And I thought it was so stinking cute. So I'm going to give the owl a new home right there. Isn't it adorable?
adorable. She also made this cute little box with our um, cow stamp set. Look at that. You're utterly fantastic. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And it's got a Milky Way in it, so I'll probably be eating that when we're done. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. All right. I want to get to prizes because I have a big announcement. Um, last, not last week, but the week before, because I was gone last week, um, I give out prizes for commenting. So if you're coming on here, make sure you leave at least one comment. You can just say, hi, Kelly from Jamestown, North Dakota, just like Della just did. Um, because you want to have your name put in a drawing to win prizes. And last week, Claudia Padon, I, I know, I always say, am I saying your name right, Claudia? From Burton, Michigan is the winner for leaving a comment. And she's going to get a pack of these... Um, heart doilies. These are super, super fun. And I got this project. I wasn't happy with the way it turned out. But as you can see here, these doilies are flirty flamingo and real red, right? But if you turn them over, they're white. And I sponged this one with Bermuda Bay. I don't know. What do you guys think of this card? It, it just, it never really kind of fell together for me. It wasn't something that I said, oh, I have to show everybody this, but it's laying on my desk. And I wanted to show you, you can sponge those hearts any color you want. So um, they're still available. They're in the spring mini catalog. And again, they're called heart doilies. So if you want to order any, just type that into the search engine in my online store. Okay. Um, and Kay says she just used those today. There you go. I know I'm getting ready to mail out Valentine cards too. So I need to get that done this week too. I think Brooke is going to help me do that. Yeah. Okay. Then, so congratulations, Claudia. Whoops, I'm not going to show everybody your address. That would be dumb. Then I have some Peaceful Poppy Elements. These are so fun. They are part of the online class I have coming out this week with the Painted Poppies bundle of products. So these are part of it. If you order the bundle from me, you get the class for free. The winner of these for um, sharing the video last time I was on is Nancy Voles of Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. So Nancy, watch your mail. You're going to get a pack of these. They're fabulous. Oh, thanks you guys. You like the card. Thank you so much. I don't know why, but I think because the, the heart is the same color as these hearts and that just kind of threw me and I don't know. That's why I never kind of carried through with it, but I should show you the inside because it is pretty cool. I took the heart and I sponged around it when I was making it Bermuda Bay. On the back, it's white. I made it Bermuda Bay. I sponged around it, and this is the inside, so you can do that, too. That's a pretty cool technique, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Next, for ordering last between now and the last time I was on, I have... Someone special stamp set. I love this little stamp set. These critters are adorable and we're going to be using it tonight. So you're in luck. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I chose, I picked a name and Colleen Miller of Omro, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for your order last week. You are the winner of this fabulous stamp set. So congratulations, ladies. I am going to be dropping these in the mail tomorrow. I also got um, several... Requests for new catalogs, or catalogs, period, from new customer, I hope, customers. <laughs> um, and I will be getting those in the mail tomorrow, too. So um, if you were one of those people. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be happy to earn your business. You'll love me. <laughs> um, pop me an email, kelly at stampabove.com, and I would be happy to send you the catalogs. Um, when you do send that email, though, don't forget, Give me your address and tell me, do you need all the catalogs or do you just need the minis? Um, because when I mail out the big catalog, it's $7.35 postage. When I mail out just the minis, it's a lot less. So if you already have the big catalog, let me know. I already have the big catalog. I don't need that, but I would like the minis. So there you go. Um, Cheryl says she wasn't going to get that set, but she ordered it. Yeah, I know, right? I wasn't either, and I have it now, and I've been having so much fun. Oh, Claudia missed the first winner. Claudia, you were not the first winner. Um, that was Claudia Pidone. 
Same first name. Good first name, right? <laughs> okay, then I have something exciting. I am going to be giving away the Good Morning Magnolia. The stamp set is in two cases because it's so big. And the reason why I'm giving away an extra great big stamp set like this is because I hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Woo woo! I was so excited to see that number. So make sure if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go find me on YouTube, Kelly Atchison. Just type it in. You'll find my channel. Subscribe. It really helps me out. This, I did a drawing. And um, Kay Allen of Turlock, California, you are going to be getting the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. Watch your mail. I am very excited to be able to give this to you. There's also designer series paper. There's a whole suite. Designer series paper, there's dyes, there's all kinds of gorgeous stuff that goes with this. So, congratulations. All right, and thank you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel because when you hit certain numbers on YouTube, YouTube starts like pushing your videos and it's very cool. Hi, Wendy Zimmer. Um, so, it's a really neat thing because then YouTube is helping me out by pushing me out to more people and that just builds my business. Hi, Haley. How are you feeling, lovey? Um, I got uh, several more RSVPs for the baby shower, Haley, so I've been keeping good track of it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, now I think, I think that's it. I think that's all the blah, blah, blah. And we are ready to stamp. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see, what should we make first? Oh, I know, I wanted to show you. So we've been talking about a new promotion. The coordination product release came out on February 4th. And we have a bunch of dies and I have them here so I can actually show them to you. So this is one of our celebration items. You get this free with a $50 order and we have matching dies. So this is called happy birthday to you and these are the birthday dies. Now you can go to my online store and just type in birthday dies. This will pop up. You can add it to your shopping bag. But these are so cool and you'll notice that there's some dies, whoops, some dies in here that aren't part, like don't have matching stamps, like the platter for the cake and these leaves. Very, very cool. These leaves down here, same thing. And this die cuts out the flowers for the cake so you can use it without the birthday cake. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> so this is one of the items in the coordination product release. Now these are only available during, um, until the end of March or as, supplies last while supplies last that's what I wanted to say so there's been a lot of confusion this you can only get free with a $50 order this you can buy okay and I'll keep telling you that as we go through here then we have the sending you thoughts this is a celebration sentiment set you get this free with your $50 order and then we have the sending flowers dies that coordinates with it this you can buy so free with $50. This you can buy. Then we have, let's save that one. Oh, well, yeah, we'll do this one. We have the Little Ladybug stamp set. The only way you can get the stamp set is with a $300 order, or you can have a party that totals $300 in sales. I just had Jan Carstens from, Carstensen, I should say, from Tomahawk, who wanted this really bad, so she had a party. And we did a Facebook party, so it was all online. It was very fun, and Jan got this set for free for going over $300 in sales. There are matching dies, the ladybug dies, they're called. So yeah, pretty cute, but you can only get this with a $300 order. You can't buy it. Okay, then, what else do we have? We have the special someone, and who just won that? Colleen Miller just won the stamp set. Here are matching dies, and these are called special day dies to go with the special someone. Now this stamp set you can buy, and you can buy these dies, so that's cool. All right, let me put those back. Um, I have one more. 
the positive thought stamp set is whoops, another stamp set that you can buy. Let me get my hand out of the way. And then we have the nature's thoughts dies and this you can buy. And look at these elements in here. Yeah, there's lots of elements that aren't, they don't have stamps to match them, but they just add a lot to a set of dies. So <laughs> Sharon says, tax refund, stampin' up order. Oh, don't I know, sister. <laughs> okay, so those are our coordination product release items. Oh, I've got one more thing. The designer series paper. This is called Pleased as Punch, and I showed you this before. This is the first time Stampin' Up! has offered paper like this. This matches our umbrella punch. We've got four different punches that this paper goes with. We've got the umbrella punch. Our heart punch pack matches this paper. Our small bloom punch matches this paper. And then we have our tulip builder punch. Let me see if I can get it out. That matches the tulip paper. Isn't that fun? And these all have really pretty designs on the back of it. This is also part of the coordination product release. And it is called, again, Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper. So there's no limit on the amount that you can order of these either. You can order one or you can order five or whatever you want. But I am in love with this. I didn't get a chance today. I really wanted to make some cards using this paper, but I think I'll be doing it maybe sometime this week. So watch for that. Um, Cheryl's asking, where do we get the paper? You can go to my blog, www.astampabove.com, and you're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. Go there, and then do a search for Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper, and you'll find the paper on there. Okay, then I've got a sneak peek for you guys. Yeah, so um, sometime, oh, I, I should have wrote down the date. I forgot what the date was. Um, we have a second release of products coming out for celebration. Does anybody know when that is? I know it's right here someplace. Da, 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 da. I know one of you are going to tell me because I can't remember, but there is a second release coming, I think like maybe March 1st or something like that. Darn it, somebody knows, who knows? We have new products coming out for celebration. This, Rise and Shine, this is goes along with our coffee cup stamp set from the Holiday Mini Catalog. Yeah, so if you have that, the dies will work for these cups. This is going to be free, I believe, with a $100 order, but don't... March 3rd. Thank you, Sarah. I think this is free with a $100 order because this is a pretty big stamp set. There's 15 different stamps in here. So this is coming. And then Well Dressed. Look at all these masculine stamps in here. I'm having trouble getting this lined up because it's backwards as I look at it. <laughs> it's always fun. It's always fun, right? And then we have this beautiful Tags in Bloom, and this matches um, our new punches. We've got this punch down here and this punch down here. This goes along with both of those. And then, again, free with a $50 order, vellum. And it is embossed vellum. Look at how gorgeous this is. I was actually placed this order on the ship so that I would get it in time to be able to show you guys and start working with it. So you can see what to do with it. I love that. I love um, designing projects. And then there's one more color. So there we go. We have a light purple, a green, and like a pool party. And isn't this fun? Yeah, it's embossed vellum. Woohoo! And then, we have this amazing gorgeousness. This is called Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper. I opened it up today while Jody was here and we drooled over it. We were like wiping our mouth. <laughs> we didn't drool, but we wanted to. Okay, ready? Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Yeah, just like Christmas. No, I won't sing for you because that's not ever going to be good. <laughs> I used to tease my uncle. I would sing Christmas carols at Christmas time, just walking around at, you know, Christmas, family Christmas. And he'd go, oh, 
Do you sing in the choir at church? No, they pay me not to. Look at how gorgeous this is. Copper. Is that not beautiful? Mmm. Delicious. Silver. Beautiful. I'm so excited about this paper, you guys. It is going to rock your world. And last but not least, it's back in here. Copper flowers. Isn't that so pretty? <gasps> I know. I can't wait. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So I will be whipping up some great ideas for you guys with this stuff. You can count on it. All right, let me put some of this stuff away. And plus, so I don't lose it. <laughs> because you know how I am. Yeah. And I think we are going to get started with a critter card. So we're going to do a critter, car critter card first. Get all my stuff unpacked here. And... Oh, I've got Marilyn from Prince George, British Columbia. We met several different couples on the cruise from Canada. And, um, of course, they were super nice. Why wouldn't they be? But um, it, was, it was really neat. We met a lot of people. And that's another thing I love about traveling. Okay, so I had somebody that messaged me and asked me if I could put my camera closer to my work surface because they were having kind of a hard time seeing what I was doing. So you guys let me know if... Um, I'm getting out of the screen because it's hard for me to keep an eye on all of this stuff. Oh, I need to pull myself up on the screen too. So hang on. Um, so I can see your comments once I flip my phone around, but I think we're ready to do that. Let me get my card out here so we can do some critter things. I know you guys are just going to love this. Oh, I just heard Steve come in the house. Yeah, he must be done snow blowing. Gosh, she was out there forever. Oh, we have 429 watching. Thank you, Mickey. Okay, we're ready. Are you ready for the flip? Hang on. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. And this, here we go. Hope I don't touch anything to disconnect you. If that ever happens, just come back on. I'll be back. And then I'm going to mirror my screen again get things straight here. Let's um, do this and this. There we go. Ah, everything is right with the world, right? Okay, so <clears throat> I am going to be using the someone or special someone, the stamp set and the dies. And what I found, this is a two-step stamping process. These are so easy to line up. I was really shocked. Like I like two-step two stamping anyways, but I was really surprised at how nice they were. Hang on just a second, you guys. Um, cancel. I don't know why, but my screen started putting an ad on. There we go. I got to... Whoops. There I am talking to myself. Okay, now I can see your comments coming in. So I am starting out with a gray granite card base. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to fold this in half. And there we go, card base, right? Easy peasy. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White here. This is four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside. I've got a piece of basic black that's three and three quarters by five. A piece of white that's just an eighth of an inch smaller at three and seven eighths by, no, four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And by the way, all of these measurements will be posted above this video once I'm done being live. I will type them up and put the dimensions in for each of the projects that I'm making. Plus, I'll take still photos, and you can always find those on my blog. The address is right here. Um, and that takes me usually a couple hours after I'm done with the live video because I've got to take photographs and I've got to type all this stuff up and put in all the links. And then I put it on my blog. So you can always go to my blog and see still photos of my projects. It, sometimes it's hard to see because I'm whipping things around in a video. So I just want you to know that. Then I've got a piece of petal pink that is just a scrap and a scrap of Whisper White. So the first thing we're going to do here is get some stamping done with this cute little critter. And I am going to be using Memento Black Ink. And what I found is that it was easier, <clears throat> excuse me, 
easier for me to stamp the outline first and then do the solid image on the inside. So I'm going to stamp my little raccoon and I'm just going to put him on a scrap with the memento black and then I'm also going to stamp my balloon just like that. Isn't he stinking adorable? He is so cute. I love him. And he just looks like he's like, oh, yeah. Okay. And raccoons can actually be quite nasty, just so we're, you know, all on the same page. <laughs> they're, yeah, kind of a nuisance, but they're stinking adorable. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have strawberry lemonade. Yay. And my phone is plugged in and I put it on do not disturb. Boy, there's so many things you have to remember. Okay, now I've got gray granite ink and raccoons tend to be gray, right? So I'm going to get that inked up and then we're going, I'm standing up so I can see what I'm doing here. There we go. It looks like I made it. Yay! Look at him. Now he's colored. And then I'm going to take some petal pink ink. Oh, we've got Diet 7-Up, coffee, water, water, light beer, sweet tea. So <clears throat> they had um, sweet tea in the vending machine on the ship. And I went and got it twice, not realizing that it already had sugar in it. I just thought it was tea without sugar. So, yeah, what did I do? I put some of my I have liquid sweetener put some of that in there and boy was the whole thing was just disgusting <laughs> I was like ew too much sugar all right here we go you the um <clears throat> special day dies look at all these cutie patootie little dies you've got grass so you can cut some grass here you've got some flowers balloons these are flowers with stems um you've got three string balloons and you've got Hello, a heart balloon. <laughs> hi, Steve. Yeah, they can't see you. Steve is in here saying hi. Let me come over and say hi. They're not going to see you. I'm on the table. I'm down here. You missed your window. There you go. <laughs> Steve's here saying hi. <laughs> we also have this little um, word bubble here and then dies for each of the little critters so there's a lot of stuff in this set of dies now what i'm going to do is i'm going to die cut the raccoon and i'm going to die cut the balloon and of course through the magic of tv i just threw my balloon on the floor i already have that done <laughs> so i can pick it up so that you don't have to wait for me to do that. So here comes our little raccoon. Is he not just adorable? He is so stinking cute and our balloon. Then we're going to take one of the greetings in here and this says this balloon is special. I'm going to bring that memento ink back in here and I'm going to, oops, that didn't get very dark. Let me try that again. That looks better. Do that, and I've got my classic label punch. Hang on, because my comments aren't scrolling again. I don't know why that happens. Oh, everybody's saying hi to Steve. Yeah. And we are going to punch this out. This is the perfect size for this sentiment. There we go. And I think I forgot to get out my dimensionals. So let me get my little basket out here and find myself some mini dimensionals. Here's some. Oh, and I need some big dimensionals. There we go. I always keep a little basket under my desk here on a shelf so that I can keep these, these types of things really handy. All right, so on the back of the right side, I'm going to put a mini dimensional, but not on the left side. And I'll show you why in just a second. Then we have our balloon. So I'm going to put a regular giant dimensional. They're not giant, but it's funny, right? A <laughs> um, couple dimensionals on my little raccoon guy. So we're ready to roll with that. And then I'm going to grab that smaller piece of Whisper White here. There's a brand new stamp set in town called Label Me Bold, and this is hidden. A lot of people haven't even noticed this. 
in our spring mini catalog but it's got some background elements and then these bold labels and these are really fun you're going to be seeing more from me using this set because I love little elements like that but I'm going to take this little splattery element and my petal pink ink and I am just going to kind of let's see how am I going to do this I'm going to stamp this around here and I want this to be very kind of randomly looking I don't want it to be really uniform so I'm going to go back and forth zigzag back and forth here just like that and then I'm going to set my little raccoon right in that little splatter. Now I've got, uh-oh, my balloon string is missing. Uh-oh, hang on. Did I put it away? I did. Heavens. What I was thinking. I'm going to grab my balloon string here and the block. Hang on. There we go. My black ink. Now I'm going to kind of, oh, did I just, look at I just smudged that. Sure enough. Um, I'm going to kind of lay this right down in here. And then I am going to, I'm doing a dry fit right now because I want this to be right here. I shouldn't have put the dimensionals on the raccoon yet. So yeah. Now I'm going to come in and try to fix my boo-boo. Mm. Oh, wrong color ink. Look what I just did, you guys. I stamped black in the wrong ink. So this is a good lesson on how to fix a boo-boo like that. And I just take a baby wipe and wipe that out. And then if I need to, I re-ink with a re-inker. I don't think I will here. I think it'll be fine because I'm kind of done with that ink anyways. Let's do the right color, Kelly. And I'm just going to take that and stamp it on this little raccoon. And it turned out. So we'll see. We'll see how it actually goes when I get it on here. Now I'm going to take the backing off my dimensionals. So you want to... What you want to do is not put the dimensionals on the back. Lay your raccoon down here and stamp the whole balloon string at once. That would be ideal. But now I'm just going to line that up. And it lines up there perfectly. And then we're going to take our little balloon. And we're going to put that right here. That lines up great. And here comes our little sentiment. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that left side and then we have the dimensional on the right side and I'm going to overlap this just a little bit make sure I get it on there straight now you can see that little smudge of black right there and most people would say oh that's fine don't worry about that but it bugs me so I'll give you a little tip here this is a sand eraser and this will usually <clears throat> get rid of little tiny smudgy marks like that. Look at that. It is gone and it doesn't leave, it doesn't mar your cardstock. So this is a mono sand eraser. Yeah, pretty sweet little tool that stays in with my dimensionals and all my little goodies down there. All right, now... We are, Char says, oh, so stinking cute. I know, right? And you're welcome. <laughs> this is really cute. And I did not order this stamp set when it first was in the catalog. And I had some people who were like, oh my gosh, I have to get that. And I'm like, yeah, I really don't. But then you start seeing what everybody's making with these. And then you have to have it. And I am so like that. All right, here comes our cute little card. We're going to add this to the front of our gray granite card base. I've got another one to show you too, just a different color I used here. And then we've got an inside. And for that inside, I chose to use the Get Well Soon from the Healing Hugs. Now, if you don't have this stamp set, this is like one of those go-to stamp sets in my library of stamps that I use very frequently because I love the font in here 
sending you healing vibes get well soon if hugs and kisses could cure you'd be immune to everything feel better soon i mean wishing you a quick and complete recovery you've got these beautiful this is our um realistic looking rubber stamps this is just a gorgeous stamp set and i use this get well soon frequently so i'm going to take the get well soon oh i better make sure this is clean and it is Yep, okay, and I'm stamping that in petal pink. And then there's another little sentiment that comes with the stamp set. Remember, the front of our card says, this balloon is special. Now the inside is going to say, because it's filled with heel e um. Let's see if I can stamp this straight. Oh, I did it, woo! Okay, winning, we're winning. <clears throat> All right, do you know what else might be really, really cute? Let's see if I can stamp just this little raccoon peeking up on the inside of this card. I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him right over here. <laughs> I love him. And that gray granite again. Yay. Look at, isn't that adorable? Yeah. Okay. Everybody loves critters. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just so cute. Now, I have a whole set of cards that I made with all the critters in this set on my blog. <clears throat> www.stampabub.com With a card very similar to this. It was for a simple stamping blog hop, but you'll find all of the critters that squirrel, and if you watch that video, there's kind of an unpleasant little story about squirrels in my video. <laughs> and the mouse is on there too. So, and you've got happy birthday in here. Um, very special day, thank you. All these flowers, and look at these teeny weeny little butterflies are stinking adorable. Yeah. All right, so here's my little get well card. And then I told you I had another one I was gonna share with you. This one is done in balmy blue. So we've got petal pink and balmy blue. So we've got boy and girl get well cards ready to roll from the Atchison household. Yay! Thank you guys for all the love. Yeah, these are super, super cute. I really do love this stamp set. And I am planning on using it for a lot more cards. So, um, again... You've got the Healing Hugs is where I got my Get Well Soon, and the Label Me Bold is where I got the splatter from, just so you're aware of that. Okay, let me get this put away, and we will get out the next project. Here we go. What are we going to make next? Hmm. I think we will do this one. Where did my basket go? Right here. All of this put away. Okay. Um, Joanne says she loves that eraser and she uses it a lot. Yeah, um, I don't use mine a lot, but I'm very grateful to have it when I need it. Because, man, that can just really ruin a card, right? When you stamp in the wrong or get a smudge on it someplace. And you're like, oh, and it always happens when you're done. It doesn't happen when you first start so you haven't done any other work. It always happens when you're done with your card and you're ready to go on to something else. Now we're going to use the Positive Thought stamp set. This is gorgeous also. And then we have these dies that go with it. Let me get out my project here. And we're going to be doing just a little bit of embossing. And I'm, I chose to use Seaside Spray. And I picked this color because I haven't used it in a while. And I thought it was time. It was feeling neglected. I could see it was a little sad. And uh, now it's smiling. No, I'm just kidding. That's weird. Um, <laughs> but it was neglected. So we got that out. And we're going to be using a Whisper White Thick Card Base. 
Let me get my little cheat sheet up here so I know what my dimensions are. Got that, and this, and this. Here we go. Crumb cake. Oh, by the way, this is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. Get that edge burnished good. And then we've got a piece of crumb cake that is four by five and a quarter. A scrap of the seaside spray, a scrap of crumb cake, and a layer of whisper white. And this is three by four and a half. Did I tell you guys this one? This is one by three crumb cake also. So the first thing I'm gonna do here where did my stamps go? <laughs> I'm gonna find my stamps. They're in a different basket. I'm gonna use the stamp set again. I am going to take the friends like you mean more every year. Make sure that's clean right at the, yeah. And we are going to, hmm, let's see how the seaside spray looks on there. I don't know if this will be dark enough, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna stand up to do this one again. Okay, that looks okay. I'm good with that. Are you guys good with that? You think that's okay? It's light, but I can read it fine. I think it'll be all right. Okay, we got that. Then we're going to take this four by five and a quarter inch layer and we're going to run it through the brick and mortar embossing folder. This is one of my favorite ones, I love it. And I'm running it through this way so that my bricks are running this way. Does that make sense? Okay. And then once we do that, it's going to look like this. Isn't that cool? I love, love, love this one. Oh, Pam's asking if I ended up buying a new swimsuit. Well, I didn't lose my top. I just left it in our cabin. <clears throat> So one day when I went to the beach, I got to the beach and I went to change into my swimsuit and I just had my bottoms. I didn't have my top. So I just left my bra on and put a swimsuit cover up on and walked back to my beach chair and I laid in a beach chair with my bra on. And you know, one of the one days that I wasn't wearing a black bra because nobody would have ever even given it a second glance, but I had on a nude colored bra. You couldn't see through it, mind you. But yeah, so I just laid there like that in the sun. I thought, eh, I don't know these people. I don't care. <laughs> That's how I roll. Yeah, it was funny and it worked fine. I, I can improvise. I'm, I'm good like that. <clears throat> okay, here comes these beautiful, beautiful dies. So what we're going to do here is you've got this great die that has all these little polka dots around the edge. And I'm gonna die cut that on the seaside spray. Whoops, hang on, I'm dropping things. Where'd that go? The seaside spray scrap. And then we need to we need to stamp and emboss a butterfly. So here comes our butterfly. And we're gonna stamp that right here. Oh, don't forget to use your embossing buddy so that you don't get embossing powder in places you don't want it. Um, I'm using copper embossing powder. So we're going to, whoops, can you see it? It's gonna fall and then I'm gonna cry because it's gonna go in my ink pad. Yeah. And this keeps trying to get away because that's the second time I picked it up off the floor. Holy cow. All right, then we're also going to stamp the big leaf, this image with Versamark ink. And this time I will be able to do this. Wipe that down so your embossing powder, powder only sticks where you want it. And again, we'll sprinkle this with some embossing powder. Hi, Monica from Oregon, welcome. So glad you could join us tonight. And we have Jamie Dawson from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And my mom and dad were over the road truck drivers and they used to go to Coeur d'Alene a lot. I believe that they had a terminal there for their company. So yeah, 
that's a name that brings back some some good memories. Okay, I'm gonna clean this off, and I'm gonna clean off my butterfly. I'm not really sure why yet, but I might need it again. Okay, so we are going to heat set both of these. We are going to die cut this frame out of here, and then we also need one Look at this feather. It not only die cuts it, but it embosses it too. So we die cut that, heat set this, die cut it with the butterfly die on the butterfly. And then we've got this die for the leaves. What else are we using here? Oh, this little element, look at that. This is really fun. We're gonna die cut that out of the crumb cake. And I think that's about it and of course to save time with all this stuff so you guys don't have to wait for me to do blah 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 all these things I've already done it so let me show you the pieces and parts look at that isn't that pretty can you see all those little dots on the edge that's what this die cuts out and this is um, the Nature's Thoughts dies that go with the Positive Thoughts stamp set. So we've got that. And then I'll show you the rest of these. Here's this little jewel. Isn't that pretty? We're going to use that. Here's our copper embossed leaves that are die cut. We've got our Seaside Spray copper butterfly. Isn't that pretty? I think that's a pretty color combination. We've got a crumb cake die cut and embossed leaf and a seaside spray die cut and embossed leaf. So you get a whole bunch of dies in this one and let me show you. I made up a little sample for you guys so you could see all the dies that come with this. You get one. Oh, look at this is like a little embossed and die cut center for this flower. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dies in the nature's thoughts dies. Cool, right? Okay. Then we are going to do a little bit of stamping on this piece. And I am going to, oh, we already stamped on it. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, no, we already did that. We're going to put some dimensionals on there. I've got big dimensionals and little dimensionals here. So here's our big dimensionals. We're going to take this piece and glue it down to this white layer. I've got another color combination that I used with this same card that I'll show you when I'm done making this. You can tell me which one you like better. There we go. And then we're going to take this element and I'm just going to put this along the bottom. Now I could get out my sponge, which is what I like to do with these intricate dies. You just put some, some glue on a sponge and you can dab it on here, but I'm being lazy. And I'm going to get this centered right down at the bottom. That's not very centered. No, oh. <laughs> hang on. I want this to be centered at the bottom. There we go. Okay. And then we're gonna take the leaf sprig. I'm gonna add some glue to the back of this. And put that right on here. About right here. I want this to kind of go off the edge a little bit. And here comes now this seaside spray leaf. I'm just going to glue right down over my leaf, my um, embossed leaf. This one is where I'm going to put a mini dimensional on the back. Whoops. <laughs> That's just the backing off the mini dimensional. Where did it go? Here we go. I'm gonna put one little mini dimensional on here and I'm gonna add this right here, okay? And now we're ready to bring this in. Let me 
to get this centered on here. I should have maybe, you know what I think would look better is if you embossed this in the copper. And yeah, I think that would just be a better idea. And I think I might just do that. So hang on. I'm going to get out a piece of crumb cake. I didn't take into account just how light that ink would be on that cardstock. So here we go. I'm going to cut a piece of one inch. Ooh, I should bring out my little mini cutter, shouldn't I? I should have that sitting on my desk. I was using it earlier today. Here's the little mini cutter. This thing is nice to have on your desk to do little things like this. And this was one by three. There we go. All right. I am going to use my embossing buddy here and we're gonna to get to emboss anyways. <laughs> Clean my stamp off. Sorry for the delay, but you know how these things work, right? Everything doesn't always go as planned. This on here, oh, I hope I didn't just do something silly there. Bring our paper back in and our embossing powder. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna look a lot better, you guys. We're gonna like this a lot better. All right, now I am going to use my take your pick tool to kind of hang on to this little bugger so I don't burn my fingers. Time to take a drink. Have a, have a drink of your beverage while we do some embossing. There it goes. I love the magic of embossing. Oh yeah, I like this a lot better. That makes me happy. Does that make you happy? I think that makes me much, much happier. All right, let's try the dimensionals again. This piece will go in the garbage. Okay. Are you guys still with me? <laughs> yeah. You know how things go sometimes. Not as you plan them. Life doesn't always work out the way you want to. I'm just checking to see if I have any questions. Oh, Charlene says that she really likes the seaside spray with the copper. I do too. And it was just kind of a, like, oh, I haven't used this color in a long time. Let's try this. So that's how I came up with the seaside spray. Well, that's crooked. Hang on. I'm going to yank her off. I'm out of practice, right? I've been gone for a week. There we go. Okay, now my butterfly, I'm going to take and bend a little bit. Because I want there to be just a little bit of dimension to that. And people will say, well, won't it flatten out in the envelope? Probably, but it's going to look really pretty for you guys right here. <laughs> what do you think? Is that not cool? Okay, we're ready to do, put our card together. We're going to take this layer and add it to our embossed layer with that brick and mortar and you guys are probably aren't going to see this as well as I do but it's really pretty that brick and mortar on the back is you, I can see it very well and it's a very cool texture behind all this now we have to stamp our inside and I decided to use the flower from the stamp set with the seaside spray you can hardly go wrong with that. You can't get it crooked. Isn't that pretty? And we're ready to put our card together. I just like that pop of white. It really, you know, just, I don't know, it just really works good for me. Let me get this straight. I'm having kind of a clustery night. <laughs> yeah. That happens sometimes. Okay, I'm not done yet. 
I sent a picture of this to Jody, who was over earlier today, and, she, and I said, what do you think of this card? And she goes, it needs some pearls or rhinestones. And I'm like, you know what? I completely agree with you. So here comes some rhinestones. And rule of thumb with embellishments like this, oh, hang on, you always do them in odd numbers. So instead of doing just three here on this card, I'm going to do five. And holy cow. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? I was, I was pretty impressed with it. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do, I am looking for my envelope. Hang on, I gotta grab an envelope. I need to get some envelopes ordered because I am almost out. Okay, so here comes an envelope. And I decided I fold a piece of typing weight paper over it and then slip that flap on the envelope open. And I'm going to stamp up that flap with these pretty flowers. And again, just very random. Make sure you hit those edges, go off the edges. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. And then let's do and do a little butterfly on the front, just like that. So here's our pretty little card with a pretty little flap. Matches that inside flower. And this says, friends like you mean more every year. And isn't that the truth? The older we get, we really do appreciate and love our friends all the more, right? But what do you guys think? Now, I told you I had another one made. This one, I used Blackberry Bliss with crumb cake and the copper. What do you think of this? So I've got the Seaside Spray and the Blackberry Bliss. Same exact card. Yeah. Which one is your favorite? Which one do you like better? Oh, look at I smeared ink all over this. I shouldn't tell you that because you wouldn't even probably notice, but we're just keeping it real here. <laughs> yeah, nobody will notice, right? Okay, you let me know which one you like better, Blackberry Bliss or Seaside Spray. I'm going to get this mess cleaned up, and we are going to move on to the next card because, oh yes, I have more. I was missing for a whole week, and I'm not going to let you guys down. We got some more cards to make. Well, at least one. What time is it? 8.18. Yep, we're going to go over a little bit today. You're going to have to be okay with it. <laughs> Listen to me, so Miss Bossy Pants. All right, here we go. I'm going to keep these dies out because we're going to need them for the next card. And put this away, and this away, and this away. And I don't want to lose those dies. Have you guys ever misplaced a die? I know that you have. It's maddening, isn't it? Just so frustrating when that happens. Okay, next card. I think you're going to love this one too. We got some pretty colors to work with. We're also going to be using these holiday rhinestone basic jewels. These were in our holiday mini catalog and they are still available in the online store. So I highly recommend that you get over there. You'll find my store link right on my blog and get yourself some of these because they are simply stunning. They're called Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. Just do a search for rhinestones. They'll come up. And then we're going to be using the textile ribbon. This is quarter inch and it is mint macaron. I'm going to pull in a little bit of our um, linen thread. We've got a sponge dauber here for a fun technique and our bow jig. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Here we go. Oh, I can't hardly wait to show you this one. This one came together really fast for me this afternoon, and I just wanted one more project to share with you. 
Okay, here comes all the bits and pieces. I am starting with the So Saffron card base, and this is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to fold it in half. Ah, oh, Judith says, no brainer on the two cards. They're both stunning. Thank you so much. You are just the sweetest, Judith. You know, I really look forward to your comments. Judith is always really funny. And where did my bone folder go? Right here. I always love reading her comments because she just, I can just see her. She's so full of excitement. She's a girl right after my own heart. <laughs> okay, I've also got an envelope. Don't let me forget to do something with that. We've got um, an inside layer of Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter. Then we've got a crumb cake layer that's five by three and three quarters. A Whisper White layer that's just an eighth of an inch smaller. This is going to be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Got a lot of that measurement tonight. It just worked for me. Okay, I am going to take some crumb cake ink and I'm going to use that big leaf. We're still on the Positive Thoughts stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that leaf right there. And then we are also, as long as we've got this out, where did my piece of paper go? Right here. I'm gonna grab this envelope and we're gonna decorate it up as long as we're working with the crumb cake. And I'm just going to bring this in here and put in a bunch of, this is a really pretty leaf. I really like this one. It's just kind of unique. There we go. Oh, let's do just a little bit more right there. Okay, there's the back of our envelope. We'll do some more to that, don't worry. Um, am I gonna clean this? No, I don't think I need to. Okay, next, so we've got this so far, right? Now we've got this scrap. And we're gonna take the scrap and we are going to stamp a So Saffron feather. And this feather is so realistic looking and so pretty. What do you think? I love it. Then we're going to take, let me put this off to the side, some Rococo Rose. And I'm going to stamp this flower. And then I'm going to take my dauber in the So Saffron and I'm going to dauber some color right in the middle of that inked stamp. Do a little huff on there to moisten it and look at how cool that looks. That's a neat little technique. All right, next we're going to take the Mint Macaron. These are all some really pretty light colors and we're going to stamp a butterfly, okay? Oh, and we're gonna put a butterfly, nope. Um, we're gonna do this flower on the front of our envelope. Now, you wanna clean this before you put it back in your ink because, or in your stamp because there's some yellow on there that I don't want to get into my Rococo Rose. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just add a little bit of So Saffron to the center of that flower. And now I'm gonna huff on it like you're cleaning your glasses and stamp that right on the front of my envelope. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Who's not gonna love getting that in their mailbox? Okay, whoops, I'm getting ink everywhere. Uh, let me see what I did here. Where's my inside layer? Does anybody see it? Oh, this was my inside layer. Hang on. I've got lots of those. Here comes a new inside layer. So I use this for my scrap, which is fine. Um, inside layer, I am going to stamp the Hugs, Prayers, and Love in Crumb Cake ink. And then I'm going to take this butterfly in the Mint Macaron and stamp it off once before I stamp it on the inside. And that just makes it a little lighter so it doesn't take over my sentiment. I kind of like to stamp a little bit over my words. I think that's just a cool way to do it. And we'll add this right to the inside of our card. And of course, this card could be any type of card. You could make it a birthday card, happy anniversary card, get well card, doesn't matter. That's the inside. Now we're going to come back to this and get our dies. So we have the feather die right there, the butterfly die. 
right here and the flower die. Now, you may mess around with this for quite a while trying to figure out how to get it lined up on here, but what I like to do is pick out something unique. So we've got a really long little petal right there and so, oh, look at first time, and I didn't think that would really happen that way, but um, I chose to look at this one that sticks way out and this one that sticks way out and bam. There we go. So we're going to run this over to the big shot <clears throat> and die cut all of those. And I've already done that. So here we go. Now we're ready to start assembling our card. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to put a mini dimensional. Hang on, my crown is sliding down. <laughs> we can't have a crown in my eyes. <laughs> I put one little dimensional on my leaf, or my leaf, my feather, right at kind of the top. And where did the rest of my things go? For my flower, I'm going to put dimensional at the top and the bottom of the back, just like that. And then we're going to grab... Where's our Wink of Stella? I've got Wink of Stella glitter pen here. And I'm going to color in my butterfly. And this is just going to give it some glitz. And it's going to be oh so sparkly and pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. Oh, I think you can. Tilt it in the light like that. Isn't that pretty? Just that little bit of glitz. And then I'm again going to... Then my butterfly a little bit right in the middle. We're going to add a dimensional, and we're going to put the dimensional fairly close to the bottom of the butterfly. All right. Now, we need to take our mint ribbon, and we're just going to cut a length of that to go across the front of our layer here. And I like to use my tape. And yes, this is still the cheap Amish tape. <laughs> if you guys have followed me, you know my whole story about the Amish tape that I got from the Amish store. It's not made by Amish people. But it's kind of a funny story. Okay. And then what I decided to do, which I thought was kind of pretty cool. Let me get these closed up before we have some major catastrophes happening. She can honestly say she's never said, wait, my crown is falling. Well, Anne, you need to get yourself one because it is an amazing feeling when your crown is falling. <laughs> and you save it before it hits the ground. Yeah, talk about rock star. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've got my linen thread. And this just kind of came to me, and I don't know why, because I wanted some texture. I wanted some layers. I'm going to tape that on there. And then I'm just going to wrap this. Oops, hang on. I got a little, there we go. I'm going to wrap this right on top of my ribbon. And you can do it two or three times, whatever makes you happy. I'm doing mine twice. And again, you guys, if some of these things are hard to see because they're, you know, small elements, still photos will be posted on my blog as soon as I am done. Well, not as soon. I have to upload the video and it takes, it's a process. It takes a while. Now, do you like that? Isn't that pretty cool? I think that's kind of a neat look. Now I'm going to bring in my bow jig. And if you've never seen this, it's simply nails and holes in a piece of wood. So I'm going to wrap this around three times. And you go under, over, and tie in a single knot right here in the middle. And it makes the perfect bow. This would be a triple bow every single time perfect bow. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Again, holes in a piece of wood with some nails. And these nails don't have the big heads on them. I think they, I don't know what they call these, penny nails. They're finished nails. That's what they're called. I used to do woodworking. Can you believe that? Yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> so I should know what these things are called. Okay, then I like to take my bone folder and just like your curling ribbon, you can curl your linen thread and it gives it kind of a neat little swooshy look. 
And now I know I had glue dots, here they are. I'm gonna take a mini glue dot and I'm going to curl that up and add it right over here and put my little bow there. Oh my goodness, is that not precious? It is precious. Okay, here we go with the rest. We're gonna bring in the flower and I put the um, dimensionals at the top and the bottom so I can straddle this ribbon. I don't want the dimensionals to be on the ribbon because then my flower will flop around. I'm real weird about that. I do not like floppy flowers. Then I'm going to bring in my feather here and just tuck it under the flower. And here comes my butterfly. And the reason why I put that dimensional at the bottom is because my butterfly is going to butt right up against my flower. Look at that. Do you love it? All right, here we go. We're going to keep going because I know it's getting late for some of you. And I am going to add this to my crumb cake layer. And then to the front of our So Saffron card. Make sure you're Linen thread isn't getting under there in your glue, in your glue. Let's see if I can talk. <laughs> and then I thought I needed just a little something because Jody told me earlier today that I needed some rhinestones or something on that other card. So look at my, I don't know, hang on. I'm not getting enough glue under here. There we go. That edge is kind of lifting. Okay, now it's looking good. And then I decided to take, these are kind of pool party, but they also look kind of minty green. And I decided to go with these from the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And this time I'm only going to add three of them. Whoops. <laughs> Where did it go? I don't know. I don't know what happened. It escaped. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Now, I'll show you the other one because this one I made out of the Rococo Rose. So I've got So Saffron and Rococo Rose. Same card, just different card bases. I just wanted to see, I don't know which one I like better. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is there a better? <laughs> Nancy did those Amish. No, I love the Amish people, Nancy. I really do. My mom is very good friends with the Amish girls at our Amish store. <laughs> but yeah, they're, um, and of course, you know, it's a, like a bent and dent store, kind of, not really, but kind of. And so they get all this stuff on liquidation from stores that go out of business or whatever. And this tape that I bought is horribly cheap and um, it doesn't work well. So it's really flimsy and crummy and whatever. Okay, so let's bring these back in here. Oh, here's my here's my envelope. I got an envelope made up for both of these. These are ready to go in the mail at a moment's notice. And they say, hugs, prayers, love. So I can give this for anything, right? There's, get all my mess out of the way. This is again, positive thoughts. And then the dies are called nature's thoughts and this is a new promotion only while supplies last on the dies so I love these now if you end up buying the dies and the stamp set if you go over $50 you get to choose a free celebration item so please don't forget that I don't want anybody I've had people placing orders their order is like $48 for two more dollars you could have got a free stamp set or designer series paper or a card kit so Please, you know, just push it a little bit more and hit that 50. I want you to have free things. So there's the two, two cards that I made with the positive thoughts. Here's two more cards with the positive thoughts. And then we've got our critters. <laughs> the special someone. And again, those dies are only while supplies last. So make sure that if you have these stamp sets already, you want to get the dies that match or... If you don't, you need to buy all of it, perhaps. And you're welcome. <laughs> you will not hear me complain if you have to buy 
all of it. So, um, yeah, Verna says the Amish store is where she found tricky dogs, little Scotty dogs on magnets that bring back memories from, and I missed it, from her childhood. Isn't that sweet? I love that story. Uh, let's see, I'm just looking to see if I have any other questions that I might have missed. I am watching my messages now. You guys know it's really hard to stamp and watch messages and try to respond and, you know, not miss stuff. It happens. <laughs> and you guys know I'm not very good at all that multitasking, right? No, I'm a pretty good multitasker, but it is hard because then I lose my train of thought and holy cow and Oh, then I stamp upside down and do all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, if anybody has any questions, I'm going to flip my camera around so I'm not talking to your back. I hate it when that happens. Here we go. Hi, guys. Yeah, see, I saved my crown. It did not get away from me. <laughs> and now I can see your messages again. So I hope you guys liked the class tonight. I always appreciate your kind comments. Please make sure you're clicking on that share button. That really helps me out. If you're watching later on YouTube, click on the share button, share my video, click on that bell, give me a thumbs up. You guys give me a thumbs up, thumbs up. I, that's really helpful too. Yeah, Judas says the raccoon is darling and I agree with you. He is, or she, stinking adorable. She is just so, so cute. I'm so happy to be back. I really did miss you guys. I love doing Facebook Live on Sunday night. I know that it's a great way to end your weekend and start off a week. So, yeah. Um, watch for my online class coming later this week. I do have another tip video for you on Wednesday and the joke of the week. So if you're not subscribed to my blog, go there, www.estampabub.com. In the right-hand column, you're going to find a place where you can add your email address and be subscribed so you don't miss anything I have coming out. Also, head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to that if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I just hit 20,000 subscribers, and I hope that grows by leaps and bounds because that is really helpful to my business. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, you're welcome, Deanne. And we've got Mary Olson. Hi, Mary. I didn't see you pop in here. Melissa, Luann, thank you so much. Thanks, Wendy. I really appreciate it. Um, Robin, you'll have to go back and catch the beginning. You'll love it. <laughs> thank you, Claudia, for the share. I really appreciate it. All right, so I think I need to go talk to Mr. Steve before he goes to bed because, you know, he goes to bed really early. And I need to get this video uploaded onto my blog so I can and share all the dimensions with you. So if you would like to recreate these cards tonight even, you can. If you need any supplies, um, I always appreciate your orders. This is my monthly, oh, I'm backwards again. Hang on. This is my monthly host code. Use that code, whoops, that code right there, only if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. Stampin' Up! is gonna give you some rewards and I definitely want you to have those. And um, if you are not a discount shopper on my team, if you're a stamper, you should be getting your products at a discount. When you become a discount shopper on my team, you receive all your future orders at a 20% minimum discount. It's fabulous. You also get all of my online classes for free, you guys. And that's a huge amount of money throughout the year. I do two online classes every month. So just saying. When you do join my team, you are going to get the mini paper trimmer. Comes comes along with your kit, your discount shopper kit. And also any stamp set of your choice. And this sampler pack of designer series paper, which is most of the paper in our spring mini catalog and our celebration brochure. So you get a whole sampling of that. Choose an expensive stamp set for your free one, right? Get one of the most expensive ones, but make sure that you like it. Don't just buy it because it costs a lot. Make sure it's something that you're going to use. Like the, um, I don't remember how much this costs, but this Good Morning Morning Magnolia, this is an expensive stamp set. There's two in here. Yeah, so make sure you get an expensive one for your free one. You definitely want to get the most, right? Then you get to choose $125 in any product that you want for only $99, free shipping, a paper pumpkin kit, 
yeah, it's the best deal of the year. And then all these goodies. Come with it. Oh, I'm dropping things. Ah, you get all the goodies. So if you have any questions about that, there is a um, $99 kit button in the right-hand column on my blog. You can click there. It'll answer all your questions. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to email me. Kelly at a stamp above.com. Being on my team is a very fun place to be. You will love it. And if you're a stamper, you should be getting your stuff at a discount. All right, I'm going to stop now because I need to go see Mr. Steve before he heads to bed. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening and a fantastic week. I will see you back here again on February 16th. And happy Valentine's Day on Friday. Lots of love coming out to you. Have a great week, you guys. Bye-bye.